Persona 5, Dancing in Starlight. A ball, huh? And dancing is the key to success? Sounds like the perfect mission for me. <laughs> of course I can. You'll see soon enough. My amazing dance moves are gonna light this place up. <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. My amazing dance moves are gonna light this place up. Lady On will be watching me too. Come on, I was obviously joking. Um, what I meant to say was, uh, I want to show everyone my moves, not just Lady On. What? It's like you're looking straight through me. Uh, okay. The truth is... I... W we are. The truth is, I want to show Lady On how cool I can be. So, um, when it's my time to shine, please be my wingman! Wait, really? <laughs> Wait, you mean it? With any luck, this ball will be a wedding reception by the end of the night! Well, now that that's decided, let's get practicing! Come on, Joker! I had no idea. What's this, Haru? You're not falling for me, are you? Not at all. Sorry, but I'm not interested. My heart already belongs to someone else. I think you have the wrong idea. Well, I'm sure it's tough to resist me. This cool, clever charm is a hit with the ladies. I suppose if you're talking about charm... It's really cute how hard you work to pull off your routine. C cute In the end, am I just another dumb mascot? My apologies, Mona-chan. Did I say something wrong? Mona-chan? Nah. I just think I need to reconsider how I convey my unique allure. All this time, I've been going for the sexy adult angle. What happened to cool and clever? But if Haru can't see how charming I am, maybe I should try changing my approach. Um, I'm not really sure what you're talking about. But I like your dancing, Mona-chan. Really? It suits you to a T. Don't you think? I see. To a T, huh? That's right. It's what makes you you, Mona-chan. Wait, if you say cuteness is a good thing, and that it's my defining feature, that must mean I'm irresistible! Lady On, here I come! Huh? Sorry for making you two worry. I won't doubt myself anymore. 
And with me giving it my all, this ball is gonna be a blast! Alright, let's practice our moves. What do you think? Isn't my enthusiasm for dance just incredible? And don't I know it! Yahoo! I'm so happy for you, Mona-chan. You're back to your normal, energetic self. Though I could have sworn I heard you mention on earlier. Are you ready? I'm gonna wow you with these slick moves! I have to say, Morgana, you have quite a wide range of skills. You're an agile fighter, dexterous with tools, and now an impressive dancer as well. <laughs> Why are you bringing this up now? Don't you remember how important I am to the Phantom Thieves? All of that should be obvious. Well, I was actually wondering if you have any other skills you haven't told us about. I need to know what everyone is capable of so I can devise the best strategies possible. Skills? Let me think. There will be no end if I try to list all of them, so I'll have to give you the abridged version. Where should I start? Oh! I'm a serious gourmet. My passion for food burns bright, especially compared to a regular old house cat. Um, that's not really the kind of skill I was talking about. Take sushi. What would a normal cat do with a piece of sushi? Probably just eat the fish, right? I, on the other hand, pay careful attention to the rice. I'm also very picky about my vinegar. I don't think a normal cat would even go near a piece of sushi. What do you think? Impressive, huh? Aw, oh, shucks. But if you can tell how amazing this is, maybe someday you too can become a true gourmet. This conversation has gone totally off the rails. Do you have any other skills? Oh, I guess you're probably right. In that case, how about this? I can tell how long a steak has been aged just by looking at it. I guess that counts, but it's not really what I was trying to ask about. Do you have any other skills? In that case, let's try making it ourselves once we finish up with this mission. I'm already a master at eating it, so now I want to approach it from the chef's perspective. <laughs> if things turn out well, I'll have another skill to claim at the end of it. Right. <laughs> Do you have any other skills? Maybe something you are extra confident in. Something only you can do. Something I'm confident in, huh? Hmm. That's it! I thought of something perfect! Well, what is it? Once someone gains my trust, I'll never betray them, no matter what. That's actually a nice trait. Though, again, it's not exactly what I was looking for. Now that I think about it, isn't being too devoted kind of a bad thing? If that's true, maybe I'm worse off than I realized. And once again, the conversation goes off the rails. Regardless, I don't think your devotion is detrimental. That straightforward attitude of yours has seen us through countless jams, Morgana. Oh, in that case, Add another skill to the list! I knew trusting all of you was the right call. And with everyone together now, this ball is gonna be a surefire success, right? Okay! Come on, let's get back to practicing! It'll be on you to make me shine like the star I am. Right.
I'm telling you, that's not what I said. Don't lie to me. I heard it with my own two ears. Oh, boy, am I glad to see you, man. Morgana's losing his goddamn mind. That's not true. This is all Ryuji's fault. He's been calling me a cat again. Oh! You're not talking about the catwalk stuff I mentioned, are you? See? There he goes again! I most certainly do not walk like a cat! Listen to me, dude. I I'm not making fun of how you walk, honest. You know how models go strutting around all sexy-like up on a long stage? That stage is called a catwalk. Not that I'm an expert or nothing. I just saw it when I was surfing the web earlier. Oh. Sorry for losing my cool like that. I was just having an interesting conversation with Ryuji here. We're trying to figure out how to make our dance moves even more impressive. What we landed on is that we gotta spice things up a bit with a bit of sex appeal. But... We got kind of tripped up on what sex appeal even is. Using models as a reference seemed like a good idea, which is how we got to the, uh, the cat, <clears throat> the uh, catwalk thing. Hmm, maybe being sexy has got to do with your relationship status or something. They say guys suddenly get way cooler once they nab themselves a girlfriend, you know? Sounds like you'll never be sexy then, Ryuji. And look who's talking. Look all you want. I've got a girl already. You kidding me? My love is unrequited, though. So you're not any better than me. What about you, Joker? Have you ever had a girlfriend? Oh, oh I had no idea. Anyways, can we get back to talking about... Of course! Looks like the three of us will be in the same boat for a long time. Anyways, can we get back to talking about... Huh? You know, I can see you here next to us, but it feels like you're in a totally different world. Anyways, can we get back to talking about how to make ourselves look sexy? I'm thinking we get some girlfriends and see what happens from there. Great idea, Ryuji! That way we can kill two birds with one stone! Okay, let's forget about practice for now. Lady on! Here I... Oh. Sup? We need to finish our mission first. The ball. So I guess... We gotta practice, huh? Sorry, but that's how it is. You can jump in too, Joker! seems to be the matter. Hmm. If there is something you wish to say, I suggest you come out and say it. Well, as you know, I'm pretty confident in my dancing. But I was thinking, maybe someone tall and lanky like you might have an advantage over me. Are you sure of that? Almost positive. If I took on human form, I think I could do even better. Just the thought of seeing Lady On eye to eye makes my heart flutter. But even if you do transform into a human, who is to say your body will be suitable for dancing? Huh? Well, obviously. I have no idea. Hey, Joker, what kind of human do you think I'll end up as? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Shall we table this conversation for now? Hmm, I guess I could handle that. Though I prefer a more slender toned physique. Too much muscle is kind of off putting. Shall we table this conversation for now? I am not a girl! 
shall we table this conversation for now? I prefer not to speak in hypotheticals. If you wish to enhance your routine, perhaps you should approach it from a different angle. What do you mean? Instead of wishing and hoping for a body you lack, you should make the most of what you have. That is, you must utilize your current strengths. Oh, I like this idea! Proper poses can draw out the inner beauty from even the most boorish of dancers. For example, all it takes to accentuate a woman's waistline is to place her hand on her hip. Wow, you really know a lot, Yusuke. Naturally, I familiarized myself with the body structures of countless animals for my sketches. I see. Getting back to what you were saying, though. All I need to do is accentuate my finer assets? Indeed. I guess the question now is what that would be. What do you think is the best part of me, Joker? My ears? That is undoubtedly a key feature of me. My paws? That is undoubtedly a key feature of me. My aura? That kind of seems like a cop-out. That is undoubtedly a key feature of yours, Morgana. I wonder how you will incorporate it into your routine. I guess practice is the only way to find out. Correct. Perhaps that is the angle you seek. Well then, come on! Let's get practicing, you two! know what they're doing. What's up, Futaba? I'm not interrupting your break, am I? Weird. You're here in your metaverse form, but somehow you blend right in. It's not weird at all. I fit in everywhere. Anyway, do you need something? Are you sure I'm not getting in the way of your R&R? I could always come back later. It's not like you to be so hesitant, Futaba. Act first. Think later. In that case, there's something I want to talk to you about. See, I've been feeling kind of weird ever since we got to this place. It's like we're not the only ones here. I thought I was just imagining things. But if you feel it too, Futaba, there can be no mistake. There's another group in on this ball. I'd bet there. Nope, don't think so. These guys feel totally different. I mean, they actually seem... My thoughts exactly. These guys feel totally different from those dream dudes in the crowd. I mean, they actually seem human for one. In other words, they're the ones we're up against. It's not just one or two people either. There's a bunch of them. Agreed. One person in particular seems to stand out from the rest, though. So you felt it, too. It's almost like they have a joker of their own. He probably has the same kind of special powers that you do. That must be the other guest the twins were talking about. Hey, what do you think that guy is like? If they're a team like us, it's definitely possible. Oh, the more we talk about this, the more... Yes, yes! Maybe he's got glasses and a criminal record, too! Interesting... Wait, that just sounds like Joker! Oh, the more we talk about this, the more... That's oddly specific. <laughs> Don't tell me this guy's your long-lost brother or something. Oh, the more we talk about this, the more curious I get. Mona, I'm gonna do some more research. You come with. Eh, but I was just about to go practice. Act first, think later. Well, hold on, Futaba! Stop pulling my tail! Oh, 
Ah, welcome, Lady Anne. Barista, two of your finest coffees, please. One for me, and one for the lady here. Don't worry about it. I was just gonna pop in for a quick chat and then get back to practice. Oh. In that case, what did you want to talk about? Well, I was just thinking about how weird this dream is. I mean, everyone's here with us, and the world is so realistic you can't tell the difference. I don't think I'd even know it was a dream if you didn't look like that, Morgana. Oh yeah, I'd almost forgotten this wasn't the waking world. But so long as we're not all stuck in one big nightmare, dreaming isn't so bad. Hey, did you know your dreams have meaning? There's even a type of fortune telling based on it. Fortune telling, huh? Your dreams reveal what you're really thinking deep down. They can even predict the future. A flying dream means you long for independence. Swimming means your hard work will be rewarded. Then maybe the dream we're having now has meaning too. Bingo. The book I read totally had a section on dancing dreams. That's pinpoint accuracy if I've ever seen it. Having a dancing dream means you want to express feelings that you've been keeping hidden away. Dancing in front of a crowd like this could be a subconscious way of conveying those emotions. Yeah, sounds right to me. One more thing. Dancing with someone of the opposite sex means you'll have romantic success in the near future. Ro romantic success? Uh, you okay, Morgana? <laughs> I guess that fortune-telling book was spot on then. Hey, lady. Can't argue with that. Hey, lady on. Would you, um, like to dance with me? I'm ready and raring to go. Shoot, I really talked your ear off there. I should probably be getting back. Huh? I have a routine to practice after all. Right. In that case, I'll walk you down to the dance floor like only a true gentleman would. Thanks. Psst. I'm gonna find a way to dance with Lady on one way or another. Just you watch. And if things get romantic, well, that's just how it was meant to be. This mission has really been something. It looks like everyone's risen to the challenge, though. You know, maybe we should change our name to the Phantom Thieves of Song and Dance. Glad to hear it. Guess all this dancing has loosened you up a little. All things considered, though, we did them. I was actually kind of joking. But if you're really serious about it, maybe we can figure something out. All things considered, though, we did them. What do you mean? You have the voice of an angel. All things considered, though, we did a great job of getting this ball up and running. The audience seemed to be enjoying themselves, and we got to have fun at the same time. It's strange, though. First we end up in this bizarre dream world. Then those twins ask us to dance for them. <laughs> Maybe so, but you still got it done. Not that I'm surprised. Humans are full of possibility, after all. Being with you just reaffirms that fact. By the way, do you... Do you think I'm full of possibility, too? Oh. Right. If you say so, then it has to be true. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Look at me. Making this sound like a TV finale or something. I'm not about to let it end like this. We still have a lot of work to do before we can head home. The mission relies on us. All 
I'll lead the charge as the most important member of the Phantom Thieves. And I'll win over Lady Anne in the process. I won't let this end as just a dream. Anyway, it's time for some dance practice. I might be talented, but I'm not about to rest on my laurels. I'll keep trying, keep pushing. I think you all could learn a thing or two from me. Maybe then you could draw out some of that possibility lying dormant within you. Well, I'm off. <laughs>